Good, because I I'm not gonna have a lot of idea what's going on at any given time. Oh, I'm all right, we're off. off. First, you'll notice that uh, Hypno Shark is the only one not running Crash uh, J. There was some differences in how this run will play out uh, because of that, but they're fairly minor. Another thing, you know, it's another thing you have to consider is that I'm I'm pretty sure. Well, if they're running J, they definitely will be. They're all going to have to change consoles at various points. Big Zachary Lawrence has a funny little strat where he will literally just set up a different console on a different monitor or TV. I don't know how he does it, but he's he's set up so he can start the next game uh, as soon as he finishes one. Excited for the boys. Oh, wait, what? Hypnoshock's game crashed? Oh no! Wow. <laughs> wow. That's that's real unfortunate. I mean, in fairness... <laughs> Look at him! <laughs> in fairness, better now than later, I reckon. I'd rather um... it happen in the first two minutes than uh, hour 12. So, Hypnoshark... Uh, just a nice, he's uh, off. <laughs> like a nice three-minute handicap there. Immediate crash within literally 90 seconds of the 13 plus hour speed run. Ah, oh, that's a uh, that's a big moment. That's, I just can't get over how funny that is, honestly. Like, just yeah, yeah. Hypno's about two and a half minutes behind now. <laughs> I mean, we've talked about it a lot throughout the Sprash League, right? That Hypno does have a pretty elite speedrunning mentality, and. This is, he's getting that tested early on in the Sprash Vector. Shout out to my only Sprash Vector. It was the saddest moment of my entire life. Oh, it was so sad. Yeah, it was, <laughs> it was rough. I mean, I know we take the piss out of you, but genuinely felt very sorry for you. Uh, you know, <laughs> I think I was more upset about my stream getting taken down during a sub -fun, but that was also incredibly sad. We've had a lot of fun doing this event. It's all been funded by Kieran and Hypno Shark. And really, you know, if you want to help put on, help them put on more events, help them recoup some of the costs from this event, yeah, somebody should might donate. Or... Interesting. So he's gonna he's gonna team with Kevin Owens to take on Sami Zayn and the Tribal Chief Roman Reigns. I'm sure that'll be fun. I just don't care. I mean, it's it's wrestling. Only nerds watch wrestling. What I watch is the Sprash is, League, baby. It's the Sprash League. Him no in Rolling Stones. He's is he he's gonna go for the skip, right? Yeah, he's gonna go for the skip, I imagine. I saw him practicing it just before the race started, so I'd assume so. Interestingly, I think um apart from the fact that he did do a three three seven earlier this week, I think this is possibly the week where Hypno's put the least prep time into the games he's playing for the Sprash League. Uh, he's been very focused on his uh C and K and C T R and C T T R this week. Maybe, but I also don't I mean he did seven hours with a three three seven. I think in terms of the amount of time he's done it. I don't think... I think he actually did less for C2. I think he played C2 less than seven hours. Yeah, look how well that went. Okay, rude. <laughs> I mean... He's trying his best, okay? You can do this. I couldn't do this, no. But you at home could. I've never completed a crash game, so... Uh, That's true. I don't know why I questioned it. I don't know you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you have. Oh, I, if you've been listening to uh, any of my commentary through the crash portions of Sprash League, Dude, I'll, just, I'll just stop you there. I haven't listened. Even when you've been here. Yeah. He is catching. He's in the same level as, as ZL right now. Shout out Liquipedia. It looks like Nitroff has lost a bit of time. I think he did he die in up the creek. I'm not too sure. But he is well behind Nuja now. Um, but Nuja did not do Rolling Stone skip. Uh Hymno is not two minutes ahead of Nitro. Hymno had a crash. Two minutes into crash one. Uh and reset his splits, which makes it, you know, harder for us all to see what's going on. Like being a race doesn't get that time back. No, that stays in the race. It is like personal run. 
the, the time is accurate, but in this race, he is behind Nitro. Yeah, so Nitro definitely in fourth right now. Oh They're already in Temple Ruins. How how is his Crash One? Is that is it not one of his better games? It's he's got the best C1 time of the four players, I believe. On one right. Oh, it's, this is like right back at the start as well. Well, that's the way C1 works, baby. You die. Oh. At any point past the first checkpoint, you've got to restart the entire level. Nitro has the best in C1. Sam has the best time in Crash 2. Crash 3 is Nitro. Spyro 1, I'm not too sure. I think it's Nujar. Spyro 2, it's ZL. And Spyro 3 is Nitrovsky, the world record holder. But Nitro has the most best times. Nitro, in terms of combined times for PBs, should win this race, realistically. But anything can happen in the World Wrestling Federation. How many games are going to be played? Six games, no ice. This is a Sprash Vector. All three Crash games, the original Crash Trilogy and the original Spyro Trilogy, over the next 12 to 13 hours. Does the player in fourth just stop when the others finish? Or do they go to the end? That's a good question. I guess they don't have to finish. Well, if, so if, if three runners finish and the guy was in fourth... They, they could, I guess. They probably wouldn't get the prize money for it. Oh. I think, I think I think the point of it is to finish. Also, this is a bigger race than just these four. Uh, there yes. are 15 people in the entire race, but only four of them are competing in terms of Sprash League. Sorry, sorry. Race. Why is he not in the bottom right? Uh, he's not in the bottom right this time because uh, he got first in the entire league. He got oh. most points. He got 407 points uh, over the six races, putting him in first seed for this final Sprash Vector. Uh, Nitro second seed, Nuja third, ZL fourth. What is the order? Uh, we're doing all the Crash games first and then all the Spyro games, starting with Crash 1 and Spyro 1. Uh, two runners will be doing C2, then C3. Two runners will be doing C3, then C2, and the same with Spyro. So we tried to get uh, as a consistent-ish order so it would be easier to follow. But it does mean you're going to get to see some different games going on at the same time later on. So I think it's kind of best of both worlds because... Yeah, sure, we're going to have different games going on, but you are going to see, like, they're all going to be doing a 305 at the same time. And then they're all going to do a 337 at the same time. Who's been the surprise package of the Sprash League? That's a good question. I think ZL. I think genuinely ZL. Because he's gone on record saying that he sucks at the Crash games. And whilst I don't agree, I think him sort of downplaying himself has, has made this more of a surprise to maybe spectators than, than it is to, you know, me. But I think, I think he surprised himself more than anything. And he wins! That's it! We're out of here! Hit wow! Hitler Shark did it, guys! Yes! He's the Sprash League champion! Suey! Yeah, that is pretty impressive to come from a two-minute uh, handicap at the start to to be first out of Crash 1. And the only one not playing on J as well, so not playing on the optimal system. All right, so it looks like Nujar and Nitroff are out as well yeah nitro second out crash one so uh we have crash three for both hypno shark and zachary lawrence and crash two for nitrovsky and nuja nuja and nitro are going to finish their game before the other two finish c3 um but don't be mistaken that does not mean they're ahead it just means uh crash two is a shorter game so last time i don't remember who it was but somebody failed uh no it's potty Poly failed making waves one cycle during the crash free race by what was it? It was a few frames. That was really unfortunate. But he was he was the second seed. So I'm excited to see if any of our not 20x players are gonna fail making waves one cycle. It's surprisingly, and I have failed it before, it's it's one of the harder relics in the game, even at like a higher level. Because sometimes you just get waved. And it's kinda it's kinda shit. Oh by the way, yeah, no game audio. Tiny just he just, he just likes the silence. He likes the sound of silence. Spoilers, we think, like, trigger warnings are stupid. Uh, I mean, I don't, I don't really have a take. I just find that very funny. That they want, that they want it to be considered that they want to avoid spoilers, but they don't want to consider, like, people's actual trauma. He had the skip? No, he didn't. So, uh, he got on the platform, the platform moved, but the camera didn't move with him. Um, the camera needs to move with you, otherwise the uh, gem deloads. Um, so, you, you need the camera, hopefully you get to here? Yeah, there you go, there's the camera.
Yeah, the gem isn't the gem isn't loaded unless the camera moves with you. What's uh, what's happening in the game right now? What, give us an update. Um, okay, so uh, ZL's going into double header. Didn't get the crash. That's good. Um, Hypno Shark is half, uh, kind of halfway through Hub Three. He's had a pretty good run. He got YG first try. Uh, hasn't failed anything so far. Hasn't really died in C3 either. And had a really good C1. Uh, I would hazard a guess that he is in the lead currently. I would hazard a guess that it goes Hypno Shark, and then oh god, um, probably Nitroff then Nuja then ZL is what I'm gonna guess. I think Nitroff and Nuja are basically yeah, Nitro and Nuja are basically in the same place right now. So that's fun. It's actually really, it's very satisfying when they uh, end up in the same, basically the same level. Oh, except Nitroff managed to die immediately in that bonus level, so that didn't last very long. Oh, and there's one for Nujar as well. So they're both struggling with this bonus. So, but Nitroff also does have to perform in Spyro Three to get that time save. Yeah, for sure. But I I, I think it's eminently possible. Yeah, he, he, he is the most likely place to be able Spiral to. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Go away, which is kind of awesome. It's it's gonna be it's gonna be a tight one. Stay tuned. It's all gonna be about what's it gonna be about, Kieran? How long are you ready to play? At the moment, I think Nitroff wants death because he. Oh, died he died. Okay, so what happened there was he died before getting the first checkpoint in the level after doing the dupe, which means. The bonus is gone, so we can't dupe again, so he has to revisit the level, which loses a shit ton. That is he's, so much. Uh, this is not the first time he's done it as well. Uh, well, the first one he didn't have to re-enter the level. This one he did. Hypno Sharks in Hub 4 of Crash 3. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty adamant on Hypno Shark being our current leader. He's he's kind of it's kind of it's kind of speed running. I'm not gonna lie. Halfway through uh, Hub 4, well, uh, a little less than halfway. About. What I'm saying, like an hour left of the run for him. On top of the other two still having to do Crash Free, uh, he has approximately two hours twenty left of Crash, and the other two have at least two and a half hours. Definitely more for Nitroff looking at this. Yeah, I, I'm I'm pretty confident in saying that Hypno Shark is our leader. Uh, Hypno Shark skip race one cycle. Looks like he's getting it. It does look so yeah nice. We haven't really even mentioned the one cycles, I just sort of assume Hypno Shark will get them. Um, you get a relic and a gem at the same time, or a relic and another item at the same time, that's what one cycle is. Again, really good run for Hypno. Not a bad run for Nuja either in C2. Alright, I think Nitro's finally getting out here. There is no way he actually did that. Was that a bit? What, the, the fake out into the next level? No, 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 no. So he did the secret path, got the gem, thought he was at the end of like the full level, left it, and then saw he only got the gem and was like, ha, huh, and then tried to go <laughs> into the next level. I don't know what's going on with this. That's so funny. Oh, that's another death. That's another death. Yeah, so the first kind of sense we'll get here is how far away, how far Nitroff is behind Nujar. Because as you say, Nujar finished Crash 2 with a 126? 126.02? How's that time, Kieran? Is that a decent time? 126.02? 126 uh, yeah, I think uh, Nujar's PB is a 119, so 6, 7 minutes. It's not bad for a 12-hour for a run. I would definitely take that if I were to do this. Finished C2 with a 133, I think. Yeah, 133.53. Best part of eight minutes behind Nujar? 7.50. Um, well, you got to remember, Nujar had four minutes whilst he went for a shit and a piss, so... Yeah, but I just mean in terms of their finishing time for C2. Okay, sure. But now everyone's in Crash 3. 
yeah, my favorite game of all time. I want to see Nitroff get some time back here, and, and I do want to see him being really strong going into Spyro. I think he'll pick up the pace. He's comparing it to 214 on his splits, which is very similar to the run he got in the race. If he can beat the time that he's got on his splits, I think he'll probably be happy. How far away from the end of Spyro 3 is, is hit, of Crash 3 is Hypnoshark right now? 25 minutes. He's on a real a good run. He's on a genuinely really good run. In just Crash 3 or? In Crash 3. His C1 was also really good, but like could have been a tad better. I'm not totally sure on PB pace here, but he hasn't made any major mistakes. One of the biggest ones with Future Frenzy. He's playing really consistently. He's doing what Hypnoshock does best. It really sparks my gambler spirit. And, uh, and Zeal, hit a, Zeal hit a Nitro on that drop, and the, the invincibility meant that he couldn't get the two time boxes. Yeah, that happens. That, happens. that is rough. 2.11.09 for Hypnoshark. GG's, that was a great run. I was, I think, exactly a minute off his PB. That's so good in a run scenario like this. So hit the shark, the first one to finish Crash 3. How far behind would you say ZL is roughly at this point from Hypno Shark? I would say around about 30 minutes, half an hour. Pretty big lead for Hypno Shark over ZL anyway. But ZL was, pro ZL was probably stronger in Spyro again. Yeah, for sure. His 337 is pretty significantly better than his 305. Is it, is, it, is it as much as 25 minutes? Because he's... Well, he's... Yeah, he, he looks like he's about five behind his 227. I don't know how... So, yeah. I don't know what he hasn't done so far. Um, but I'm guessing he hasn't done Rings of Power. Potentially Boneyard. I don't know when he did Boneyard. If he has. But there is still quite a bit to go. But Hypno Shark sprinting into the lead. And this is definitely without a shadow of a doubt a uh, 305 pb pace what's up with zl's webcam zl has a second setup with basically with crash 2 ready to go uh, so what you're seeing in his face cam window is the demo of crash 2 playing while it's waiting for him to finish crash 3 so he has like the slickest transition setup which you know that's going to save him a few minutes over the run it will you know when nuja took a four minute break zl will take like 20 seconds are you talking about valorant Oh, Valorant Addictive Disorder. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. I know. I think it's just my competitive spirit that I want to keep playing it. Stop speedrunning as much. I haven't done a speedrun in like six months. And I'm watching all these fucking like talented speedrunners, like these four here. Hypno is currently in the lead. Uh, Zach just went straight into C2. I need to update the exclamation mark progress. How's the Scratch Factor? It's going well. Everybody has done two games so far. Currently waiting on who will finish 305 first. 305 obviously being Crash 1, 2, and 3. Speaking of Freeze Champ, uh, Hypno Shark is in Unbearable. With um, Nuja doing Tomb Raider at one cycle. ZL doing Bear It. And Nitroff doing Toad Village Rock. So you've got quite a lot of different things going on, really. Uh, two players which is uh, Hypno Shark and um, Zachary Lawrence. They are doing Crash 1, then 3, then 2, and Spyro 1, then 3, then 2. And um, Nitroff and Nuja, they are doing Crash 1, 2, 3, and then Spyro 1, 2, 3. Yeah, I saw Nuja failed Tomb Raider 1 cycle, 1 cycles in this game, as I mentioned earlier. Uh, you get a relic alongside another gem. Unfortunately, lost like a minute and a half there. Hypno coming to the end of Tiny. An another really good run. The C2 run has been very good, but we're coming into Hub 4. Hub 4 and Hub 5. Definitely the hardest of the C2. Nitroff and Nuja both in Hub 4 for C3. Not too sure who's ahead, but it's probably about even. And ZL currently closing out Hub 2 in Snowbiz for C2. Give or take like 25 minutes behind Sam. Hypno Shark. We'll see, we'll see the standings once we finish uh, this game for each of the players. No, it'll be a 118 as long as he gets a hit. Pause. There he gets it. Lovely stuff. That's a 118. That's a 447. 305. Holy shit. That is... That is exceptional. <laughs> that is so good. That is crazy. GG's to Sam. 
That is a big 305 PB. 447 and 305 to cap off the year. That is a boy howdy bloody good. At the start of the year, he had a 509 or a 502 in 305. Uh, so to bring that down by like 15, 20 minutes is just insane. Who's strongest at Spur Spyro, I imagine, of the four? Unless you're talking about Spurs, in which case it's Harry Kane. Uh, no, um, I think it just has to be Nitroff because of how good he is at Spyro 3. I think it really just has to be. Yeah, uh, if anybody doesn't know, he's uh, the world record holder for Spyro 3. So even though he's a bit worse at 1 and 2 than the others, uh, than what, well, then at least a few of the others, his Spyro 3 is just so astronomically better. It sort of carries him to, to that. ZL, Zachary also has the best Spyro 2 time of the lot here, has very good he has a free ox in spyro 3 and also a very good spyro one time as well so i think i think really it's between nitroff and zachary for spyro i'm sure i'm sure it'll be a tight race towards the end yeah it's really hard to tell when the order is like the way it is but i think once it gets closer to the end it'll be easier to assess uh like who's in the lead well currently they're all going into spiral gotcha so that's will, helpful we will know exactly who is in the lead so gotcha. currently we know Hypno in first, Nitroff in second. Which mm -hmm, might, exactly. at the start of this run, I was like, that's a smart idea. I don't know anymore. The way he's been playing, maybe not. Hmm, interesting. Nuja closes out Crash Free. Um, that puts Nuja in third, ZL in fourth. He just closes out C2. But uh, Zach has already started Spyro 1. He has such a good method for switching games. Uh, he's already into Spyro 1, which technically puts Nuja in last now. And, you know, that's another thing we don't really touch on. It's the game swaps. Uh, they can lose you so much time. And Zach has such an efficient way of uh, dealing with that. So as a person who is quite, uh, <laughs> I don't know, unaware of things such as game swapping, what is his method for being so quick? So his method for being so quick is he has two monitors. And he has four consoles. He has two NTSC consoles, a Japanese console and a PAL console. And what he'll do is whilst one game is happening, he will start up the other one and he has two different capture cards. And as soon as he's done with one, he'll start the other one. It'll be in the top corner and then he'll switch his scene. So that one becomes the main screen. And he'll do that for each game. Did Sam, Sam just die unintentionally? I'm so sorry, um, these are dumb questions. I think he's... I think he died too. unintentionally, um, but honestly it's not too bad a death, it was just right no. after the dragon. He also gets mm -hmm. his full sparks back, so could be plenty worse. Yeah, uh, as you're saying, Jamie, I 100% I, I don't, don't count Nitroff out. It will all come down to Spyro 3, though, because the Spyro 1 and 2 times are very similar across the board, but Spyro 3 is just such an advantage that he has over over the rest of the competitors here. Actually, this is actually kind of interesting. Zach and Nujar, with Zach's swap method, and Nujar just starting technically right before him or ending the previous game just before him, they're about a level apart, it seems. Hypno coming to the end of both hub Beastmakers going into Dreamweavers sooner rather than later, whereas the the two at the bottom, they are currently in Ice Cavern, and Nitroff just a bit ahead of the other two, chilling in... Well, what the fuck is this called? High Caves, that's it. We're almost at hour six, guys. Almost halfway there. I don't, <laughs> I don't deserve it. Nitroff, Nitroff missed Boldar skip. This is sad. What is Boldar skip? You uh, oh. you manipulate the camera so you go through the portal and hit the dragon on the other side. Uh, so when you go out of Crystal Flight, dragon cutscene would have already been triggered. Hypno's run is on fire. Uh, no, it's not. He left Nort Cove with 395 gems. Oh, that's not good. Where is he missing a five then? Um. It's that anime. Okay. What does that lose? That probably lost like 50 seconds, 40. Uh, Nitrop is catching the fuck up. Well, I mean, okay, listen, he's at the start of Dreamweavers and Hypno is, he has like three levels left of the game. It's slowly, slowly catching up. 
Okay, so Sam is just kind of all around. I don't know out of these six if he has like a strong best one. Maybe he does, I don't know. But for Night Trough, it's a little bit more obvious that it's like Spyro 3. What about ZL and Nuja? These two are... Nuja is also like very consistent. It has like pretty solidly good times in all six games. Very similar to Hippo, whereas ZL, again, sides more Spyro. He has a 306 in Spyro 3, which is the second best time of the four players. Has the best Spyro 2 time of the four. But he's probably one of the, I think maybe the best Spyro player overall of the three like games. But obviously Nitroff has that lead over on Spyro 3. So if, if he gets even close to PB, Nitroff will take an advantage. But ZL and Nuja are both very talented in their own right. There's Spyro 1 done for Hypnoshar. Did he get, he got a 134. So about four minutes off his regular game PB. Closing out, gem room for Nitroff. It'll be a 136 4x. Very well done. Now second is Nujar. No, Nitroff still second. Nitroff second, Nujar third, Liel currently fourth. Nujar not going for poverty skip. He's just probably gonna go for a piss. ZL not going for credit skip, probably poverty skip. I'm putting ZL ahead of Nuja again. Sam is actually, based on game swap, leave just shy of half an hour ahead. So ZL is going straight into Spyro 3, is it? Yeah, looks like it. So we're back to two people being on a different route than the other two. Spyro 3 and Spyro 2 for Hypno and ZL, and Spyro 2 and Spyro 3 for both Nitroff and Nujo. Thanks to everyone who joined the Sprash League, I have a few stats that I'd like to read off. So, during the Sprash League, we had 135 fully completed runs over the six races, with 53 individual players taking part in the six races, which is astonishing. Genuinely astonishing. An overall prize pool of just under $1,200. Concurrent viewership high of like 450 which is quite a lot. Quite a lot for something put together for the sake of a community. Uh, we reached over a thousand on the Spyro 1 directory, which I think is, I'm sure it's like, you know, up there, probably close to the highest it's been. Three of the six races, the highest in that game's history, the most entrance. So, you know, thank you for all the support. It's genuinely very heartwarming. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah. This clip that Nitroff is trying to do right now, like, just looks so freaking complicated. And I think I remember hearing at one point that's, like, one of the hardest ones in the entire run. Gulp skip? Uh, yeah, gulp skips. Uh, is it the hardest skip in the game? Uh, no, there are harder ones, like, 80%. But, um, gulp skip is definitely difficult. Probably the hardest in Hundo. Want us to act like Sam's chat? You are Sam's chat. You're, you're, you're acting as if you're not in his chat right now. Be part about the entire Sprash Vector. Yeah. Um, so we'll see what the fish are like. Damn. Oh, there we go. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, I missed one. Oh, no. oh, this is where the reds come. Oh gosh, oh no. Oh no. Four reds, five oh. reds. Okay, five reds is pretty good actually. So who's ahead? Um, going into Spyro 3 slash Spyro 2, Hypno was ahead, and then Nitroff, and then Zack, and then Nuja. But we are, they're, they're on different games now, so it's very difficult to tell. All we know right now is that Hypno is ahead of Zack, and Nitroff is ahead of Nuja. But obviously, mm -hmm. Nitroff hasn't done Spyro 3 yet, and Zack is still... Had a, had a deficit going into Spyro 3. But they will catch up. Zack will be mm. relatively... Well, if, if PBs are something to go off, they'll be relatively close to each other by the end of Spyro 3. Are cheats allowed in Spyro 2? Uh, no. Why is Nitroff using Gem Locator on Sparks? It's not a cheat. That is... In Spyro 2, you just get it from the start, don't you? Yeah, yeah, I think it's just, I think it's just ingrained from the beginning in Spyro 2. It's more of a cheat than a tool. It's not. 
It's 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 literally parts of the game. It is it is literally a mechanic in the game. It's definitely not a cheat. Mm -hmm. It is it is more than allowed. I am beyond certain. Zach finished up with some no Sunray Springs. Going into midday gardens, I think is what it's called. Correct. Which is the same world that Sam is in right now. That I is true, know, yeah. I don't know how much of the homeworld he has done. He still has Sergeant Bird, half of this still left. Yeah, Spooky Swamp, and he has Enchanted. So still quite a few levels to go. ZL mm -hmm. slowly creeping on the boy. Creeping on up. He's moving on up. Nuja's fish currently looking pretty good. Mm -hmm. I didn't see how many reds he had. I think it was like one or two. That's Something like that. Probably yeah. like three oh, now. Three. Four. Five. Jeez. Six. Seven. Eight. Oh no. Nine. Oh, okay. 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 Ten. Alrighty. There we go. Ah, uh, it was ten. Not bad, not bad, not bad, not bad. Not bad, not good. Technically, ZL and Hypno are both yeah. in Sergeant Bird's base. However, one person has done quite a lot more of the hub. It looks like Sam's missing a gem in Bird, which probably not the level you want to lose it in. There we go, he's found it. Well done. Yeah, Spyro 3 is Hypno's weakest game of all six. His PB is around about 40 minutes behind world record, where the rest of his runs are around about, like, at worst, 10 minutes behind world record. That being Crash 3 and Spyro 2. And Crash 1, sorry. Hypno, right at the end of Charm Ridge, about to go into Lost Fleet. ZL, halfway through Icy, about to go into Spike. Actually, not halfway, he's probably closer to the end of Icy. And he'll be heading out of Midday Gardens once he finishes the Clark's level. Currently, Nitroff in Fracture Hills in the final stretch of Spyro 2. And Nuja in Zephyr has Metro Speedway and then Fracture Hills. And then the final stretch. That's the standings as of current. As I mentioned, Hypno ahead of ZL. Nitroff ahead of Nuja. But we aren't too sure who's ahead currently right now. We are taking a quick punt. Probably Hypno. It's all to play for going into Spyro 3 for Nitroff. Nuja finishing up with Spyro too soon and ZL soon going into the end like the second half of Spyro 3. Who can catch Hypnoshark? Who knows? Find out. We still have another three hours to go. Nitroff in the final level. Icy Speedway closing out Spyro 2. Nitroff will be the first person to get to his final game but that doesn't have too much bearing because our final game is Spyro 3. By far the longest. longest. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. yes. Uh, this is going to be a 143, I think. Maybe a 142, I don't know. Yeah, it'll be a 143 for uh, Nitroff and Spyro 2. Now, just... Uh, wait, hang on. He hasn't split. Now he's split. A very strong Spyro 2, 143. Four minutes off his PB. Very good, very good. Going into now the, uh, the final game is going probably for a piss, maybe a shit. My favorite color, so I, I like that. Uh, Justin Jefferson is one of the most interesting players to watch in the league. Dalvin Cook is always does incredible shit. And I, I kind of yeah. got a little soft spot for Kirky Cousins. No, you don't. You f he like has a rock garden and he takes a rock out every day. One rock to symbolize one less day of life. So he's fucking weird. That's so hype. That's so cool. That's <laughs> so good. I wish That's I could do that. That's oh, weird. Oh, Hypno with, a, Hypno with a death in the age of nine portion of Fireworks yeah. Factory there. Luckily on the backtrack instead of for normal. Amazing. There's a lot of levels you're going to see difference though because Nitroff will do the version where you don't have to be agent nine, right? You can go through it a spiral. Yeah. They'll do the but that is a glitch that uh, Hypno Shard doesn't do. Kind of an all, It's a good obvious dis difference between like the skill levels of the two in S3. Yeah, uh, I believe Hypno is the worst of the four at Spyro 3. He's so close to dying He's again. about to die. He's dead. Oh, no. <laughs> Whilst we were talking as well, uh, Nuja did finish 
Spyro 2, which means now all four of our players are in Spyro 3. This is my worst nightmare, and I think yours as well, Callum. <laughs> yeah, it is. This is When we looked at the schedule, it was like, okay, so I'm not going to get to do any of Spyro 1, arguably my favourite game, and the one I know the most about the speedrun for, and there's a non-zero chance that I have to talk about them all being in Spyro 3 at the same time. Yeah, well, <laughs> unlucky for you, mate. Unlucky for some. Nitroff and Nujo are both on the last game. But obviously. the last game is the lo is the longest game. Yes, yes. Obviously, the two who aren't on the last game are way, way further into Spyro 3 than the others. So More, more than, like, a whole Spyro game into Spyro 3. Yes. Sam's, like, two hours 22 into Spyro 3. Yeah. So he's probably got, like, an hour and 10 of Spyro 3 left. Probably more. I don't know how well this run's gone. I'm, I'm predicting, okay. like, a 340. Okay, so maybe an, hour, maybe an hour 20, and then he's going to do Spyro 2. And his Spyro 2 has improved a lot this year. It's probably the Spyro game I think he's put the most time into, certainly in the back half of the year. He put quite a bit of time into being better at Spyro. There was there was what the month that he even... I think Spyro 2 was his most played game on stream one month. His Spyro 2 is a pretty good time for him. He's only got to do an hour, you know, an hour, tw hour 20 of Spyro 3, and then a whole Spyro 2 in the time it takes Nitroff to do all of Spyro 3. Well, if Hypno can start Spyro 2 before Nitroff gets one hour into Spyro 3, I think this is doable. If not, it is going to be a very, very, very close race. I love that this is coming down to being so close because we've definitely had, I mean, more often than not, the races in the Sprash League was just the world record holder being clearly better than everyone else. But this Please might be like a part of what was it, the Crash? The crash, was the Crash 3 race that was really close? Yes, it was five seconds apart. Yeah, the Crash 3 race was super close. But this, apart from that, this feels probably like the, the closest match we've had so far, For which sure. is kind of insane when it's a 13 hour speed run. Okay. Do you mean they just like move the safe? Oh, look at that from Nitroff. A lovely, lovely little skip into the the other part of the level here. Proxy. A little bolt level here. And again, oh, look at that. Proxy to avoid having to use the bolt. And again, we've, we saw Sam do this earlier uh, and he used the boat and went round and it is quite slow on the uh, the auto scroller well done but he's now and he's firing up in the sky to uh hit the ones that come down and he knows exactly where to fire to hit them even before they have loaded in on his screen it's another really good example of the the skill gap between nitroff and the others but well Nitro, not necessarily um zl but between Nitroff and Nujar, the skill level of the of the route and the and the tricks that they do. The last two hours, whoever wins this is gonna get a sub twelve. Check it out. Hey mate, hey, I guess I'm... we're in the vinegar strokes of it. <laughs> oh yes we are. I still don't fully know what that means. That's insane. He has been playing some Spyro 3 recently though. Yeah, he has been okay. playing some Spyro 3 recently and all that. Yeah, he did a 337 and he also uh, did some 117. And that's it. Well uh, done. Of the week. There you go. Wow. A 333. He's got to feel good about that time. So it's all down to a Spyro 2 and how good this is going to be. And like I say, I think this is probably. Spyro 2 is probably his best Spyro game at this point. Yeah, I think he's going to look for a 145 hit. I think that's what he's gaming for. If he gets that 145, that is pressuring Nitroff into needing like a sub 310. It's it's definitely very doable for Nitroff, incredibly so, but it would put the pressure on. Okay, here we go. Gulp skip time. Probably the biggest moment of this Spyro 2 run. Has he got it? Uh, we don't know yet. We have to wait for this part. He stayed in the yeah. wall. Now he just needs to get the charge go. glide. Beautiful. Well yes! Done. Okay, we have a race. First try gulp skip, and that, you can see, that was a big oh. moment. Uh, this is not looking like a double at all. He went for it, but no. he tried. I don't think I would even reached, to be honest. No, I don't think so either. But I, I respect the attempt. Okay, so unless there's a triple hit here, it's going to be another two. Uh, oh, he missed two. that barely. Barrow 3 finished for ZL. So yeah, it's going to be about 12 minutes like we thought. 
because he's at, yeah, eleven forty-two. So sub twelve minutes because he's already he's in glimmer. He just hasn't twitch, switched the screen. Yeah, the just hasn't yet. switched the scene. Uh, he will probably do that now. During the orb. There animation. we go. Yep, there you go. Lovely. And everybody's on their final game. This is the final stretch for all our players. We have two people halfway through Spyro 3. We have two people towards the start of Spyro 2. This is our final stretch. 10 hours, 17 minutes in. It's a, it's a ball game. We are, you would say, an, about an hour and a half away from knowing who wins the Sprash League. Yeah, yeah. Give or take. It's been seven weeks in the making, but we are just 90 minutes away from having a Sprash League, an inaugural Sprash League champion. There can only ever be one first Sprash League champion. Second try at uh, Dragon Shores. Good start. That's one. Oh. That's two. Ah, ah, ah. Three. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, that's not good. Four. Five. Six, seven, okay, no more ideally, eight, we'd like less than ten, nine, okay, not big on this so far, ten, okay, stop now, okay, eleven, stop now please, just eleven, that's fine, we're fine with eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, oh lord, 17, 17 red, okay. what the fuck, that's some oh shit. My. That was bad. One. Good start. Two. Great start. Two. Three. Four. Five. So already past Nitrox. Six. Seven. Anything under ten is okay. good. Yeah, I'm looking for single digits in. He might get it here. He's only got two to go. Nine. Ten. Oh, there's a ten. Okay. Hopefully, finish at ten. Yeah. There we go. Very good. Nudrum ZL. Oh. Oh wait. What? He missed. Okay, we're up to oh, 12 no. and a miss. Alright, 12, 12 and a miss. immediately had another two red fish. We're past the 11 hour mark. We're into the final hour for at least two of our players. Yeah, I, th I think you're right, Jamie. I think at this point, we could probably say that Nitroff has, at this point, taken the lead. Probably just edged ahead, and it's whether or not he can keep that lead and extend it. Or if it can, you know, something can happen, it ends up shrinking a little bit, and Sam can take advantage. But either way, I think Henry Shark's going to be very pleased with his performance. I'd be very surprised if Nitroff is able to get a sub-3 at the end of a marathon run like this. If he, if, if he could do it, it's not impossible. And if he can, he's a god. Who's winning? Uh, Nitrovsky, currently our leader. Again, anything can happen. Very close between Hitmoshark and Nitrovsky. Who would we say is leading between ZL and Nuja? ZL has approximately 50 minutes to go. And Nuja has over an hour. I think ZL's leading. I have to say, I'm so impressed with Nitrov being able to pull this back after his 305. Just having the, the mentality to be able to put that behind him, it's an elite mentality. As we said, the importance of having a good Spyro 3, like, it's so... His Spyro 3 is so much better than Hypnos and Nuja's. And it's... ZL's the closest to him, and even then, it's like 14 minutes faster. It's so, so, so important. And when it comes to a Sprash Vector, maybe, maybe Hypno's going to be looking at trying to improve his Spyro 3 before next time. You know, a good Spyro 3 is probably like 25% of the of our Spresh Vector run. Yeah, it takes up a lot of the time, so trying to minimize that as much as possible is pretty crucial. 
We're in super bonus round for Nitroff, coming to the end of such, such a long yeah. run. It's always nice when you set up a narrative tw and it pays off t like 12 hours later. Yeah. You know, we did we did say you know, when Nitro was doing particularly C, the, it wasn't a great C3 and then it was a really terrible C2. But yeah, I did say when he was doing that 305, it was not a great 305. It was an clearly one, a very frustrating, particularly C2. To be able to pull that back, it's been now clearly winning just on the strength of your spine. Three. It's just a sight to behold, Pretty isn't much. it, Callum? Just a sight to behold. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Six orbs left for Hypno. Going to the end of Fracture. So he's got two levels. Magma Shady Icy. And ZL is about two levels behind Hypno. A 313, by the way, for, for ZL in Spyro 3. Very respectable. As you can see, his PB 306.52, so just on 6.59 away from PB. I think Sam can definitely be very proud of really all of his runs in this. You know, of course, the 305 PB that he got. Dale is that a PB? 447, yeah, that's a PB. That's a PB by a lot. 447 is outrageously good. Nitroff is literally about to finish. He's gonna join us for a chat. Oh. Imagine he gets the proxy. I mean, he's got 10 minutes to go for it. Ah, oh, I didn't. Maybe it's a 302 then? Unless he hits all his shots. Missed quite a few. Mm. Oh, cut it close. Oh, Kieran's phone's excited. <laughs> oh, it's a 302. Ah. No, it's a 301.59. Oh, 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 GG, Nitroff, Jesus, bloody Christ. 09 on the race time. Nitroff is the winner. What a journey for this guy from his early appearances on stream and his, his struggles with Crash to his incredible Spyro 3 race performance, that sub three in the race. And what a champion. Th a 301, certainly a worthy winner. A PB by seven minutes in his Crash Vector. It does look like we're, Lexi, we're we are potentially on for all four runner, runners getting a Spresh Vector PB. Nitro! I am Jeez. dead. We're actually season one champion. How does it feel? Feels pretty good. I mean, also feels like I made an extreme mistake by doing this, but hey, here we are. <laughs> It's not a mistake if you win. Uh, I guess so. Yeah, let's talk about that run a little bit, because this isn't to uh, to do you dead or anything like that, but I think your Crash 2 was maybe one of the most difficult to watch runs we've had in the whole of the Crash League. You were <laughs> really struggling in C2. As I always do, um, despite struggling so much, that was still three minutes, or I guess two and a half minutes better than my last Crash Vector attempt at, Sp at Crash 2. So, you know, improving you every game slightly. Uh, the king of my split. Spiral 3 just carries you though. Yeah. For the overall pace, for sure. I have, I, I, I know my weakness is with consistency. Whereas like, you know, I have that whole spreadsheet that compares everyone's sum of PBs and I can see like my sum of PB is obviously a 10, 46, 18 as my splits show. But I also have the numbers for the other three contestants. They're all around 30 minutes slower as far as sum of PBs go. And yet you, you see Hypno, who's like not even 10 minutes behind me here at completing. He PB'd the 305. Yeah, he got an amazing time for 305. He was yeah. talking about this and it was like, according to what he was saying, it was second on the board. Yeah, he's, he's got, he jumps from fourth to second. Yeah, he got, a, he got a 447, but like, even with, we were seeing it, like, everybody in chat was like, who's in the lead, who's in the lead? We had to say Hypno Shark's in the lead, but with the knowledge in the back of our heads that, like, the Spyro is going to be very spyro sided you are going to catch up to him, and he did. Um, mm -hmm. which, uh, he also had play. the, uh, obviously, because you were in call with him, you'll know, he had the, the two minutes lost, two and a half minutes lost right at the start yeah. to the uh, to the crash in Crash 1. You know, one of the things, one of the things I was thinking about at some point during the race is it would be a shame if he lost by less than that margin yeah, yeah. well that's what we were saying too that that, <laughs> that's honestly the worst outcome of all outcomes but yeah a great event we saw a lot of you on stream throughout the season as well so we've seen you know we've seen your your ups and your downs your downs like the your crash three uh orange asphalt and your <laughs> well like, you, like, you redeemed it we don't talk about orange asphalt <laughs> right that's what I said. your orange asphalt in crash three and then your sub three hour spiral three in the race 
Yeah. Sorry to cut you off. Uh, GG Hypno, well done. 11.47, five and a half minutes. Yeah, he was like only a minute away from my uh, last Sprash picked up PB, so. 11.47, so about a 13 minute PB. That well, looks like it, yeah. 18 seconds. Well done, there mate. There we go. We're actually, Perhaps I was just going to say, and I think you'll appreciate this too, Sam, it's, it is looking quite possible that all four of you might PB in Sprash Vector. I, I think that's, barring a disaster, I think that's guaranteed, considering uh, I think Nuar's PB is a 12.50 and Zach's is a 13. So yeah, I... Zach is going to PB by over an hour. Yeah, that's going to happen. Here's there. something I need to point out too. Uh, last year, during my first Sprash Vector, I got a 12.08, and that was second place or i got a 12 12 and that was second place behind a 1208 and now here we are a year later and um, zl is going to beat that yeah you, all crazy. three of you are going to beat that crazy. no yeah no he's like also approaching i didn't realize no he was that was that close i guess that's the the power of the sprash league format as well because you've all had practice of all six games in the races yeah like somewhat recently too how, how are you feeling hypno shark i am absolutely out of gas unlike kieran <laughs> um but... what, what, what? <laughs> He's done so many farts. <laughs> Why am I, I catching strings? What's happening? Uh, don't, don't worry. I saw I saw chat. I, I am absolutely knackered, but really, really good fun. I'm really happy I got sub-12. I'm really happy that, barring for some reason me crashing three minutes in, I've never seen that crash in my life, and I doubt I'll ever see it again. It wasn't even three minutes. It was 90 seconds. Yeah, it, it was <laughs> go out of Insanity Beach, and the jungle rollers died. So strange. But yeah, but barring that, like, no one's had any super bad technical difficulties that affected the run in a negative way i'm really happy i think that was a very hypno shark run for you the sprash factor it was just very consistent there uh, wasn't there wasn't much drama what was that 305 what the f what i was gonna I, say, I, 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 I i i rolled up bro bro what were <laughs> you smoking <laughs> I, 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 I turned up on the day bro i turned up on the day that was um, crazy so <laughs> i was just like there's no shot <laughs> that's insane that's insane did, did that like i didn't take this into account before because frankly i wasn't considering it but did that get second on the leaderboard yes yes yeah, it did it yeah. did yeah, it's ridiculous then. So you you've you have double PV. Yeah. Yeah, I, I have double PV. Yeah, that, that wasn't a uh, 337 PB, sadly, because every game was barely slower than my 337 PB. Oh, yeah, you got um, Nitroff's fish luck this time. Oh, goodness. Oh, dude. I, I was like... 17 reds. I'll be honest. I'm happy Ooh. that Nitroff won by five minutes and not 40 seconds, because that would have yeah. been tragic. 17 reds. Yeah. yeah. I, I didn't realize it was 17. Was it that it bad? Was, it, was 17, it was 17, yeah. Uh, the numbers were <laughs> five for Nitroff, and then both Zach and Nuja got ten, but then Zach missed one, so he actually ended up getting like twelve or thirteen. Oh. You you got seventeen. Well, seventeen. <laughs> also, dare I say this? This is going to be really close to see if Zach gets sub twelve. This is going to yeah. be all mightily close. Uh, it looks yeah. like he should because he's just saved a lot in magma, so it's probably yeah. This is tight, man. <laughs> Ni yes. Nitroff, actually, you you only just managed to get a three hundred one as well in the in spiral. Three. We were because we were watching that as like mm. whether you were going to get a three one or three or two. It was a three or one fifty nine. Barely, yeah. 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 Those those proxy attempts were. Uh, yeah. <laughs> they, they were they were trying. They were going. <laughs> so I just pulled up my uh, Sprash Vector total spreadsheet, mm. and I am seeing Hypno that with this new six four two PB, you are now as far as my list goes, the person that's the closest to their sum of PBs for the six four two. That makes a lot of sense because I. I I play very safe and that adds up. You also play very consistently. That's all that's that's your style. Yeah, I'm not very gun ho, so to speak. Yeah. Um, Nit Nitroff, uh listen, it's it's all well and good being Mr. Consistent, but my god, when Nitroff's on one, holy shit. Oh hole, yeah. It's yeah. it's it's a, it's a sight. sight. It's it a is sight a sight to behold. It really is. I, mm -hmm. I can't. I cannot wait for the day when Nitroff gets like a better three hundred five than I just did. Because both of your Spyro threes in the Sprash League have been a pleasure to watch. Nitroff. They've, they've been sick. The sickness. sub, the sub three in the race, and then a three hundred one. Like we could just see how much closer you were getting to Sam. Because because obviously Sam was ahead going into the final mm. games. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it was just watching you chase him down through Spyro three was really impressive. Yeah. Yeah. Good stuff. GGZL. And now we're we're all invested in Nuger because we want to see if they can complete the uh, the quad of PBs. Yeah, it should happen. I mean, realistically. It, it really, really should happen. It yeah. Really should happen.
That's crazy. Three sub twelves. I remember when sub twelve was like the holy grail. Yeah, that was that was the end all. Yeah. So it's not going to move Zach into the top three, but like if you two, if you two weren't running today, yeah. that time is good enough for him for Zach to bop you if you hadn't just PB. Indeed. It's all happening. It is really nice that this is going to be a race where like everyone can come away happy. Yeah, I, I think everyone's like pretty satisfied. I know Nitroff was talking at the end while we were in pool about how at someday he wants to get an eleven one X which would be... I mean, uh, that's just my current goal with my current PBs. That's going to right. improve over time. Yeah, what's your, what's, your awesome. three, what's your 305 right now? My best 305 is what you just saw, so uh, I can't say because I split this, but it would have been around like uh, 514-ish. There's a, there's an easy 20 minutes in there to get to like... Hip oh, yeah. Level. Well, yeah, here he that. is, our, th our third place finisher and the man who just PB'd a Sprash Vector by over an hour completely skipping <laughs> 12. Yeah, that's a thing that happens. CL, congrats on an awesome Sprash Vector. Mm -hmm. GG's. Thank you. I was like freaking out for the last two hours, basically. Uh, I, I must be honest. <laughs> uh, I, I must be honest. I, I was so nervous for you in Icy Speedway. I was like, dude, please, for the love of God. Yeah, we, were, we were all, we were just chatting to these two and then we were all stopped and like, wait, we have to see, we have to see if he gets this. Zach, I want to talk about the game swaps. Oh, yep. yeah. Those, those game swaps are just, they're outrageous. <laughs> they are, they are <laughs> outrageous. So many people in chat were like, Wait, where's he? Where's he? Where's he doing the game? <laughs> <It's just> like, <laughs> you see that? You see that blue screen the bot in like the top corner? Yeah, that's that's where it is. Yeah, it turns yeah. out I need it though. Turns, mm -hmm. turns out they help. Turns out saving yeah, right? time you would, you helps. You would not have got a sub twelve if it wasn't for the game swaps. Nope. Coming in clutch. Is that, is like that the meta? Minutes. That's that's not to be sniffed at. Is that the meta for the future? I like five CRTs Probably. and five consoles. <laughs> yeah. And... <laughs> well, you only need two, and I yeah. I kind of lucked out because I had I mean I have a few PS2s, but I already had a CRT setup from a few years ago, and then when I upgraded to the OSSC, I was like, well, now I have two setups. I might as well use them, I guess. Probably saves like two and a half minutes over the entire run. Definitely part of why I wanted this specific game order was like I had already done so much prep to, to have like game swaps and hotkeys and splits and audio and crafting and all this shit. Would you would you guys say you, you're happy with your times? Would you say it was it, oh, was, yeah. it was worth it? Not, not happy with the crash three times. But... What was it? What did you get? Uh, 230. Because didn't you do like a 305 recently and get like a 220? something in it yeah both the yeah. 305s i did recently were 227s so i thought i'd come okay. here because i didn't get like a 224 <laughs> right i just got yeah. fucked I see. So, no I about to finish yeah no going out. into the the final sorceress with 45 minutes to go to pb so i think <laughs> i, I think, think he's think fine probably okay <laughs> he's all right 25 minutes of each ggs 1205 which is good, which would be good enough for fourth on the leaderboards if Zach just hadn't gotten eleven fifty nine. So yeah, Insane. like you were saying, you you just said Hypno. You remember when uh, Vanny had a twelve nineteen? Mm. Mm, yeah, and that was and that, that would be like thirty. That would be thirteen minutes slower than the slowest run in this race. And that won that year's Sprash Vector by like an hour. Yeah, it's wow. awesome. I, it does feel really good. I think this is a race where everyone comes away happy. Everyone got a PB. Some yeah. people got two PBs. Greedy. Well, Nitro oh, got did, three. I mean, if you want to be technical, I got three. Yeah, you got three. Nice. Wow. <laughs> very, very <laughs> small PB? one. That doesn't mean I'm happy about this. I want a much better time. <laughs> no, that means they're perfect, right? I'm pretty sure that's how PBs work. Yeah, yeah. PBs mean they they're perfect and unbeatable. And perfect. Did you get an individual game PB? No. No, I oh, wish. You were close. Imagine. Crash one was forty seconds off. Crash three was forty seconds off. So the, the start was hot. <laughs> the start. The start was, was the start was blazing. Yeah, the start. Your, was... your three or five, especially your one and three, were just. I'm gonna yeah. admit, like earlier in the race, well, we were like four hours and twenty-five minutes in, or something, and I was hearing Hypno saying something about that he was basically on pace for a four forty, and I, I just couldn't really believe it, yeah, because correct. like you know my pace was gonna be a five uh, five twenty-ish or something, and just making the math, like the difference between the two, I was like, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to work hard in the Spyro side of things to yeah. to catch up. And you yeah. did. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you, did. you did. To be fair, did. to be fair to the right? guy, he did. <laughs> yeah. Nujer, how are you doing? Uh, if I'm honest, that, that's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's what everyone else has said. We all are, to be fair. To be we all are. That SBR was a kick in the gut. Uh, I uh, lost the Yeti race right yeah. at the 
mm. at the last pixel. It was very frustrating, That's... and I also was on PP pace until that in for 117. Uh, oh, really? It, it would have it would have been a nice finish because my initial plan was to maybe get an 11, although that was quite mm. difficult because yeah. if you if you'd got, I mean, you I think that you're probably among the closest to a single game PB because nobody else got a single game PB. So if you'd got that 117. Um, that would have been awesome. But yeah. a big PB for you in the in the Sprash Vector itself. Oh, that would have been great. All right, then. Any final words from anyone? Well, thank you for organizing this event. It's been it's been yeah. fun. Thank you for being a yeah. part of it. Thank you, Kieran, and thank you, Sam, for the for yeah. organizing all of this. And thanks to all of the runners and that GGs on the final four, and GGs on all the PBs. Yeah, it's been a pleasure. It's been it, a pleasure. It, it, it does feel like everyone getting a PB is the perfect way to end Sprash League. Yeah, it's it's about right. Yep. It's about right. All right, off tonight, Shadow. Let's for, go. For, 20, for twenty-five more hours.